So we are about one kilometer into the trail. We started at about uh, 1360 meters of elevation in the parking lot. And right now we are at about 1440. And uh, we got a bit uh, distracted a couple of times, but I think that we are back on track. So that's the objective right in front of us. But let's see how long it's going to take. So far, it's been about uh, almost half an hour into the trail. So, and uh, we have gained about, I don't know, 90, 100 meters of elevation. So, Keiko is checking if we are on the right track. So, nine o'clock and uh, almost two kilometers in and uh, we got distracted so many times but uh, we were good to catch it up in time and uh, didn't go that far off route but there are so many zigzags uh, we still have to uh, cross our final uh, uh, intersection after which we'll be fine so two kilometers we are in so far in about an hour and the elevation at the moment is about uh, 1600 we started at 1360 so do the maths so we'll see how it goes beyond this point Okay, so it's uh, 9 uh, 35 at the moment, about an hour and uh, hour and a half into the trail, and uh, this is where we are right now. You can see the town of Canmore in front of us, Hailing and Eastern of Rundle. Over there, we have got three sisters, and uh, at the moment, the elevation is about. Uh, 1780 so we started at 1360 so about uh, 400 and something 410 20 and right now you can see that I'm standing on the edge uh, of the canyon and uh, I'm facing towards the mountain right now Grotto mountain and on my left is that uh, echo canyon Yeah, I, I heard my echo. <laughs> and uh, this is, I think, where our uh, scrambling section starts a bit. So, let's see how it goes. It's getting a little bit of windy here, a little bit of cold, and uh, the clouds are not going away. And uh, I hope that uh, soon they would go away. The wind would take them. But let's see. So this is that uh, scrambling section, not a whole lot difficult, but uh, just to give you an idea, I think that the only sketchy part to it is that it is on the edge of the canyon, but it's not on that much edge of the canyon, you still have enough clearance, shouldn't worry about that. Yeah. Well, you could have come this way as well, which is a little bit away from the that uh, cliff edge, but. There are so many ways to go up. Whatever suits you, whatever suits your comfort level. Everything is leading up. almost 10 o'clock we have reached over here this is quite a nice view of the
canyon down there Echo Canyon and then the canyon is I think branch is off over there as well there is a little section of canyon here so we have reached at this kind of platform we'll be heading this way all the way up so this looks like a false summit we'll go behind it and then to the true summit behind it and then we'll walk west uh, all along that ridge and then we'll come down like this um, if we are going to do the full counterclockwise uh, loop but uh, it's getting wind windy let's see how it goes by the time we reach the summit we are not even halfway yet and uh, almost two hours and uh, about a little bit less than three kilometers in and uh, about 500 uh, meters of elevation so far okay so it's 11 10 right now so three hours and almost 10 minutes into the hike and uh, we have reached uh, 2160 so almost 800 I would say and uh, that's a ridge and uh, now we we can see the true summit I'll show you the true summit from here or oh, deep down that's the Echo Canyon if you can see down there wow and then that's the true summit on our on our right side and we'll start walking on that ridge down there and then we'll come down if everything goes well also this is the view on the south side and uh, we came across the last about I would say 45 minutes to an hour that was total scramble and scree which I don't like uh, walking on the loose rock but scramble was for fun, was fun so and uh, we're still in uh, the tree line I think it's gonna take us another about 15-20 uh, minutes or so to get out of the tree line the good thing is that the sky is uh, starting to open up a bit and uh, let's hope that uh, the chances of rain go away and uh, we have a bright sunny blue sky when we reach the summit and so far we have met uh, three guys doing the same loop as we are so not a busy trail today so Let's see how it goes and what time do we reach the summit. Okay, 11.30 the time, which means 3 hours and 30 minutes since we started. And we are, I think, the start of the tree line now. And uh, I think we are a little bit over a thousand meters of elevation now. And uh, another about uh, around 350, 360, around 400 meters, give or take, uh, still to go. And uh, it was quite a scramble. I'll show you the two guys who were ahead of us, and they're already up there on the summit. You can see them. And uh, not sure how long it's going to be for us till we reach the summit I would say hour and a half or so but let's see and this is the view on the south side you can see the three sisters the middle sister is a little bit blended in between the, the other two sisters but you can see the view of the uh, highway one I think that uh, the mountain in that far off that could be Cascade I'm not sure I'll have to double check and then hailing minor 
east end of Randall and all those kind of peaks in front of us and uh, yeah so that's where we need to go and, uh, let's see how long it takes So it's 12.15 and we are still moving ahead. The summit is up there and we thought we we're gonna make it till 12.30 but it looks like maybe it's gonna take another half an hour or so and it is really really steep. Uh, this camera at the moment is pretty um, level horizontal and you can see the level of steepness and that is where we came from down way down there way down and uh, I think that uh, uh, my watch is saying that we are uh, about 2500 and uh, meters in elevation and we have to reach 2700 so we are shy of another 200 uh, meters of elevation so let's see but the views are really gorgeous it's getting uh, windy and chilly but let's hope that the sun would come out and uh, it will warm us up a bit but so far we are working with our gloves and with our dukes and uh, we are moving so that we stay warm Pretty close to the summit now. See that the weather station and and our communication towers or something similar. But still have to do this last push. It's been quite a scramble, and you can still see that it's not ending. So we are still moving ahead. It's a beautiful rock formation at certain places, but the good thing is that you can find your footings. It's, the rocks are not very slippery. Like you see, I just took a, a few steps of this steep climb. Apparently, this looks pretty steep, but the footing was good. I was able to do it. The ridge is inside. You can see it. And uh, the wind is still blowing. mountains we are still moving ahead with this never ending so finally we made it we made it to the summit Black Dasak, the 
Las Arts over there, and then Heart Mountain, and I think it's Yates in the back. Twenty. Okay. So we're doing the ridge walk counterclockwise. We're on our way back. It is really, really windy, and we have already passed through a few sketchy places when coming down. But this ridge walk, let's hope that uh, it stays well. of places earlier we almost felt that uh, wind was just throwing us away uh, but I think that there are certain sections where the wind is uh, stronger than the other sections so but look at the views uh, on the right hand side this is the south side or oh, sorry north side yeah, all these mountains, all their glory, and uh, oh my god, okay. So, we're still having our ridge walk counterclockwise which means that uh, uh, what it's gonna be what can go east to west or west to east yeah we are moving west towards west yeah from east to west yeah, so. the ridge walk is uh, pretty pretty scramble at places like this you can see but uh, as you're not uh, gaining a whole lot of height so it's not that bad and there are I think a couple of uh, bumps which you where you gain some height but it's not huge I think that maybe this one could be one of those oh got sun finally yeah and you can see the city of Canmore in sun and then look at that uh, summit in the background that's where we were and look at the slope which we climbed up or scrambled up I should say all the way from down there all the way up there well imagine the angle.
still walking on the ridge and uh, it's getting better and better. We had uh, some spots but it was a bit sketchy. But I think that uh, that's over now. So we should have pretty decent results for the rest of the bridge now. But man, look at these gorgeous mountains and the creek right over there deep down and look at this fall wow. and the funny thing is that all these mountains on the on the right they don't have any any snow on them but when you look on the left on the Kenmore side yeah, the, the far off mountains they still have the snow I don't know if it was month or something but it's, it's really going So we are at the last stretch of our hike now and uh, closed the loop and now we are just walking that uh, common section. I think in the next 15-20 uh, minutes we'll be reaching the parking lot. Overall the hike was good, uh, lots of scrambling. I can't say now that if uh, clockwise is good or counterclockwise is good, either way, it's the same tough. <laughs> and uh, uh, you'll find it hard. There are some sketchy parts on the ridge walk, especially when the wind is blowing really hard. Otherwise, it's not a big deal. It's just a leg burn. Even um, a scramble is uh, not uh, like exposed scramble. It's uh, safe scramble unless if you hurt your knee going up or down but overall it's good yeah you can see uh, that's where we were uh, we did that ridge walk and the true summit is somewhere over there I don't know if you can see it or not and then we went all the way like this and then we are coming down like this now and uh, yeah, in front of me, the famous uh, Three Sisters, which we had been seeing uh, all along our hike on this side. And 
along with all of their neighboring mountains. So, if you like scrambling and uh, you like challenges, do come this one. It's not, uh, do come to this hike. It's not easy, I would say, for us. It uh, could take us around 10, 10 hours, but then they call ourselves as turtles. So we take lots of breaks and we just walk so slow and, but we just finish it. <laughs> so maybe some uh, trail runners might finish it in five hours or four hours or even less. There are some superhumans out there. Yeah, but for us it was uh, somewhere, somewhere around 10 when I think that we reached the parking lot.